Does anybody have any idea what they're doing when it comes down to building guns? Huh? BSG's not holding anybody's hands, so are you guys just throwing parts on these guns all willy-nilly? I'm finding weapons out here on level 2, level 3 players, and the foregrip's up here where the scope goes, and the laser's sticking off the back of the buttstock. Is this you? If this is you, you need to watch this video. Hopefully it helps you out, alright? I'm going to teach you guys what all this vomit of numbers and words and stuff all over these stat pages are. Uh, I'm going to teach you how to build a gun effectively, and uh, hopefully it helps you win some fights because your gun works a little bit better. It's not shooting out the buttstock, alright? Let's dive into it. Now, for this video, I want to go over a uh, very widely used weapon, um, the AKM, the 762 BP shooting full auto assault rifle. This is one of my favorite weapons because it's pretty simple, pretty easy to use, and we're going to go over some pretty simple builds uh, in this video. Now, the first thing that I want to do before we dive into that is break down what all of this stuff is, right? All right, this is a basic AKM bought from proper nothing's done to it fairly simple uh one of the first things that you notice is that the page is just full of a bunch of stuff right all these buttons up here uh we're not gonna worry about those right now we're gonna work it we're gonna work on breaking down each line item piece by piece to understand what all this stuff is and what we're taking into the field okay now first things first durability this line item right here is going to be determining how uh, well, your gun is going to be operating as of right now. It's not really affecting anything um, because most people, to be frank, are dead before the durability actually takes effect. So there's been rumors that this is going to cause jamming. Um, you'll have to clean and repair your weapon in between raids and stuff like that, maybe in the future. But as of right now, uh, typically these repair uh, durability issues aren't a problem mainly just because people don't live that often with that gun so if you are living long enough to where you have to repair your gun uh let me know in the comments or if you guys are noticing jamming or anything like that but i think that's still to come now the next thing is going to be weapon mastering this line item right here is again not really affecting a whole lot i think you get different reload animations the more that you use uh increase this number uh which is increased just by using the gun itself so uh, again, nah, I don't think it's really affecting anything. Now, for me, when it comes down to guns, I always look for the big three. What I'm looking for are going to be ergonomics, vertical recoil, and horizontal recoil. Okay, A lot of these stats on here are still important. Don't get me wrong, but those are my big three. All right, When I keep it simple, stupid, that's what I'm looking for. Okay, So first things first on KISS is going to be your ergonomics. This right here is going to determine how fast your gun can go from hip aiming down sights and how fluid it is too right the higher that number the better it is at going from here to here and stopping not kind of overcompensating it depends on how big and bulky you know what i'm saying how big it is so so anyways the ergo is going to be also affecting how loud the gun is too so keep that in mind so if you're one of if you're listen i'm not talking bad about anybody but if you're you know hiding around a corner in a bush anything like that you don't want your gun to be going click, 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 click as you're lifting it up, okay? So Ergo might help you out if you're, you know what I mean. Anyways, next thing on the list is going to be your accuracy. This, I don't really pay much attention to this because typically the gun's going to have either accurate or not. Um, but this is going to be how clumped together the shots are going to be on accuracy. And the reason I don't pay too much attention to that is because the more that I affect vertical and horizontal recoil which again, in their own right, are very obvious. Vertical recoil, how much the gun's gonna kick up and down. Horizontal, how much it's gonna sway left and right, and how much you'll have to compensate with your mouse, right, to kind of keep it from deviating off your target. That's gonna affect your accuracy overall anyways, because you're gonna be swinging your mouse trying to keep that thing under control like a bucking, like a bucking bronco. Anyways, next thing is going to be your sighting range. Usually it's pretty low on default guns just because you're aiming with iron sights. So the sighting range, it is what it is based off the weapon. But as we throw scopes and red dots and stuff on there, that number will change to see how far you can actually see if your scope can zoom in, stuff like that. Okay, how much it actually zooms the screen in when you aim down sights. Um, down here near the bottom is going to be muzzle velocity. This is going to be how fast that bullet is leaving the chamber um, on its way to your target, okay? The higher this number, the, the farther the bullet will travel and the harder the bullet will hit, 
Okay, so it's kind of important. Can't really affect it a whole lot. It really just depends on the weapon type. For this example, we're sticking with an AKM. I'm not gonna worry too much about it. I'm gonna stick to my big three. Now, the last four down here are gonna be types of fire. Pretty straightforward, single or full auto. The caliber of the bullet, right? The 7.62, the BP round, that's what we're working with. And then we are talking about fire rate. How many bullets can you get down range per minute? And how far can those bullets go? Assault rifle, 400 meters at 600 RPM. That's not bad, right? Now, the RPM is kind of important too, because this is going to be dependent, um, or this is going to determine the difference between fighting uh, someone. If you're fighting someone up close and they have a vector, they're going to shoot twice as many bullets as you. Okay, so if their bullets hit as hard as your bullets, they're going to win every time if they're accurate too. Not to mention the stats are pretty, pretty substantially greater in that regard. So. The reason I mention that is because you really need to kind of read the room and pick your fights based off the gun that you have, right? If you know someone's got a vector inside of resort on shoreline or custom dorm rooms or interchange or something like that, they're right around the corner, you might want to try to reevaluate how you're going to push that fight, okay? If they're going to run at you shooting twice as fast as you, you know, you might want to put some distance between you two, okay? Just keep that in mind. Now, for the sake of the video, I am going to do two builds. I'm going to do the basic AKM. Roughly, it's 38,000 rubles. You can buy it straight from proper. And um, I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison with a simple AKM build. Um, fairly budget-friendly. Buying the gun and all the mods that you see on this AKM, they're, they're roughly 137,000 rubles. Based off the current market as is. Okay? So, what I want to make sure that you guys understand is also how to build these weapons. So one thing that was taught to me very late on in my career is how to actually make a preset. I don't even know if you guys watching this video now know much about presets, but if you don't, what you need to do, first thing is you need to go to your hideout right down here in the bottom left, and you need to build what's called a workbench. Now, when you're looking at a bird's eye view, it's gonna be this top piece right here. Um, this workbench doesn't need to be upgraded to two or three anything anything like that, you just need to build it, okay? Build it, and the guns will come, all right? Once you have it built, you'll have this button down here on the bottom right called presets. Once you know you have that, um, what I like to do is either double click on the gun and click edit preset, or you can right click on the gun, and it's also right there, okay? And when you do that, it's gonna bring you to this screen where you have everything at your fingertips, okay? You have all your vital parts, functional parts, equipment parts, Everything is just all right here as long as it's been examined. Um, meaning that you found it and you've clicked on it before and you've seen it before. It'll show up on these lists. And what's really great about this is not only do you have all your stats within iShot, but you can click this little drop down arrow and swap things out live. Now, the next thing that I like to do when I'm building a weapon um, is going to be upgrading the parts piece by piece and looking to see how they affect my stats as I go. So what we're going to do is we're going to build the one that I already have in my stash, okay? Now, to do so, what I always start with is going to be what's going to affect my stats the greatest. And typically, in this regard, it's going to be muzzle brake. On top of the fact that flash hiders also reduce that bright flash whenever you pull the trigger and shoot a bullet, um, they're going to reduce that flash, which will conceal you a little bit better if you're firing at somebody farther away so there's not this big old flash showing exactly where you are. Okay, now in this example, I went through and I hovered over these. And if you look at that stat pane up there, you can see them change live and how each of these parts will affect your stats going forward. Okay, so in this example, it looks like that RRD4C is going to be your best upgrade with negative 23 vertical recoil. Again, remembering my big three. Uh, it is going to drop your ergo by two, but we're going to make up for that. It's going to drop your vertical recoil by 23 and your horizontal recoil by 54. That's huge, right? So if we if we go with the RRD, um, we're gonna get a pretty substantial upgrade. Um, now, the next thing that I think is one of the most important is going to be your handguard. The reason that I like to uh, upgrade these handguards is going to be because you get um, the option for a foregrip, a, a pistol grip, and you also get the option for accessories like lasers and um, flashlights. So. We need to pick out one that will work for those. And the best way to know that is just see if it has a guide on the sides and on the bottom. 
um, to get those attachment points, okay? And you can also see that these affect your stats in a little bit as well. Like the aggressor, you get a little bit more ergo, which will make up for the fact that the RRD dropped it a little bit. Um, and you also get less recoil too. Negative six on vertical, negative 13 on horizontal. Um, I just happen to know off the top of my head that that one's pretty pricey on the market right now for a budget build. Um, and it seems like a lot of these have similar stat reductions um, that we can work with, like the tracks. We get plus two ergo, negative four vertical, negative nine horizontal. Uh, and I think it's a little bit cheaper. So we're gonna throw that one on there. And then um, this one doesn't have the guides built in. So you have to buy these little uh, key mods. So we'll just throw one of those on there. There are a couple thousand rubles. Now, if you guys have seen my vector video, you know that the budget build that I like to go with for the most substantial stat increase is gonna be the Magpul RVG grip. Is you get seven ergo off the rip and it also reduces your vertical recoil and horizontal recoil by a decent amount. Um, and it doesn't cost that much. It's like a few thousand rubles. It's great. If you don't want to break the bank, I mean, one of the best ones to go with if in this comparison is going to be like the shift. You get nine ergo, four vertical, negative nine on horizontal. So nine, four, nine, and you get seven, four, nine on this. And it's a fraction of the price. So I usually go with that. Um, but again, you guys can kind of hover over and you can compare too. Now, another cool little trick that you can do is once you have that mod on the gun, its stats are built into the gun stats, meaning you can go through and you can hover over these and see the difference, right? The shift gives you plus two ergo, right? You can see what the differences are, what's going to give you better stats, right? Just pay attention to those big three. Does it reduce recoil? Does it increase ergo? Okay. So again, I go with that. And then the next thing that is probably one of the most important, important pieces is what scope are you going to put on this gun? You can use iron sights if you're good with them, if you want to. I'm personally not much of a fan of the iron sights, so I usually do one of two things. I either swap out the dust cover, which again, just prior knowledge, I know that these things cost a decent bit on the flea market right now, so I don't normally go to this if I'm going for a budget build because I know that this little TT-01 is uh, available and it's fairly cheap and you can throw a red dot on there. Now, when it comes to scopes, uh, there's a high and a low. But again, it's all going to be based off price. So do your research to find out which one of these works the best um, in your budget. So the, the the best one that I know of that I think the community can all agree with is the PK06 is probably the best red dot on the market. One, it doesn't affect your stats that much, doesn't weigh that much. And two, it's a super low profile, fine tipped red dot, uh, which means that this bulky frame doesn't take up a lot of your screen. So you can still see out of your peripheral but you can also get a very fine tip laser for very far shots, right? Which the AKM, again, we know has a 400 meter effective distance. You kind of would like to have that little red dot. Now in this example, this PK06, I think is like 60,000 rubles, right? So for a budget build, I think we can get away with something a little bit cheaper. Like the EOTEX, they're fairly cheap, but they're cheap because they have a really big frame. They're gonna take up more peripheral vision. In this case, we're going to go with that because I think it's about half the cost, 25,000 rubles or something like that. Now, the last couple things that you want to do after you've picked like a laser and stuff like that is going to be uh, for a price point, I would swap out the pistol grip, see which one fits your stats the best. In this case, I know that I can get seven ergo off the rip with the RK3, and it's not that much if you got it opened up from uh, the vendors, the merchants. They're like a couple thousand rubles from one of the merchants. So we'll throw that on there boost up the ergo again if you guys have seen my vector video if you aren't doing this you're 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 helpless okay do this if it has the option for a butt pad put the butt pad on the gun okay this is one of the most widely missed pieces that i think people just don't understand this butt pad is crucial if you're not using this i can't help you man you're 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 lost beyond help okay Look at the stats up there. Horizontal recoil, you lose 22 horizontal and 10 vertical. It's huge for like a 2,000 ruble piece. This thing's super cheap. Ergo, you even get ergo. You get plus two ergo. Why not? Grab the butt pad, throw it on there. If you want, you can even grab the RP1. It's a charging handle. It'll give you one extra ergo, okay? Now, once you have the gun built to your liking... There's something really cool about the weapon preset thing that you can do so you don't have to go through that every single time you build a gun. You can click right up here at the top and click save as, and you can give it a name. So we can do AKM budget. 
and hit save. And what this does is if I have a stock AKM, I can actually go over here and type in AKM budget. And what it'll do is it'll pop up right there, boom, open, and it'll open the build that we just did. Every single time, you don't have to rebuild it or anything like that. And then to build the weapon, what you need to do is click assemble or find parts, okay? Now, there's a difference between these two. Find parts, what that's gonna do is search for every part that makes up this gun. The barrel, the upper receiver, all the pieces that you added to it, all of that stuff, it finds all of it and, it, and it'll it'll make you buy everything again, okay? You don't wanna do that. Because it's not gonna take into consideration, maybe you already have this foregrip buried in your stash somewhere, Tetris out of its mind and, and it doesn't know, okay? <laughs> so what you wanna do is hit assemble and it'll give you this warning message right here. You have missing parts required for assembly, blah, 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 blah. That's the whole point. You want this message, it's gonna show you all the parts that you don't have and you wanna hit buy parts and this will take you to the flea market. Now what's really cool about this is it'll show you the flea market live to show what parts are available, the cost and the total cost for the build, okay? We already bought the gun for 38,000 rubles. So what we want to do is get the rest of the parts and go ahead and just have it all assembled, but make sure that the price points make sense. Okay. Now, first thing we notice is the, um, you can't really see this. Let me move down. The uh, muzzle adapter and the sight are not available. Okay. So we need to find a way to get these. The best way to do that is off the rip. Uh, the flea market will have everything sorted by owner or um, by traders. So you want to click this little X right up here and it'll refresh the market showing everything that's available, whether it's from a merchant or from another player that's found it in a raid. Okay. You can tell what's from a merchant because it'll say the merchant's name right here. If it's from a player, it'll have the player's name. Okay. Um, you can tell it's a player because it has a, uh, a rating right here. Their, their flea market rating. This with the arrow going up is your merchant rep. What's your reputation with that? Like skier proper and stuff like that. Okay. Now, the second thing that pops out to me is the total price right now is 115,000 rubles. I think we can do better than that without breaking the bank. And the first thing that I noticed, again, look at this butt pad, 3,500 rubles. Get the butt pad. But again, the other side of this is this muzzle break is pretty high. 55,000 rubles. This is all going to be dependent on the flea market when you're watching this video. But for me right now, what red flags in my head is that's pretty high for a budget build. So what I can do is I can go back and what we can do is click on the muzzle. Let me see if I can get it up for you right there. And uh, we can hover over to see what would change our stats and by how much, right? So let's say we went with this Lantac Dragon. Um, it's not going to affect my ergo at all to switch to it, but it will give me a little bit more, er um, vertical recoil and horizontal recoil. Okay. That's not too bad considering if we swap to that, most of the rest of these, they pretty much tank your, your stats. Okay. So we're going to go with that one and then we can just hit assemble again, buy parts, knock off the owner's, uh, traders and look at that. We saved 20 uh, 2000 rubles just by swapping that out. And we really only get like a little bit more recoil. So now we're under a hundred K that's pretty good. So what you want to do whenever you have everything the way you want it, your prices look good. We can hit purchase all and it'll show you the breakdown of what everything costs. Okay. So you can hit yes or no. And then what it'll do is it'll take you back to this scene and you want to hit assemble. Once you hit assemble, it will basically take the gun and all the parts that are in your stash as of right now. And it'll build it right there in your stash for you. You don't have to drag, drop, anything like that, okay? And you'll get a gun like this. So now what we're looking at is a basic AKM. Here are your stats there. And then this is the AKM that we modified. You can see the list down here is a little bit bigger because we have more slots for uh, mounts with the, the lasers and stuff like that. So, which again, I'll make a video about lasers and accessories and stuff like that later on. Uh, for the sake of this video, we're just going to compare stats. So spending that that 90,000 rubles, what we got is 53 ergonomics up from 39. We've got a vertical recoil reduction to 85 down from 124 and a horizontal reduction of 197 down from 287. Almost a full 100 horizontal recoil. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and take this to the shooting range that I've built in my hideout, and uh, we'll see how these guns perform. Okay, here we have both of our AKMs base and upgraded. Pay attention to the audio as we ADS here. On this example, there's not a whole lot of difference in the clanking as you go from hip fire to ADS. Most of the sounds come from your character model, which, again, I could show you guys in a later video how to reduce sound of your character if you're trying to be quiet. Uh, most of the impact from the money that we spent to upgrade this AKM is going to come down to the recoil control. Uh, so let's take a look at how that looks. Now here you can clearly see this is where the money shines. We spent 90k to upgrade this AKM and we're getting a much tighter cluster as you can see on the demonstration on the right. So if you aim center mass or head, you have a much greater chance of those bullets hitting the same spot, giving you multiple thorax shots or head shots and dropping the target so it's not living as long. And now when it comes down to full auto, you're not even hitting the target without these upgrades. I didn't do any compensation on either side. I just held left click and let the gun do the work. And you can tell that we got a couple head eyes, head jaws, some thorax shots on the one on the right, making those upgrades well worth the price. And also keep in mind, these are basic upgrades. It's just a budget build. I didn't do a whole lot to this AKM on the right. There's a much wider range of higher quality parts that you can throw in this gun uh, to upgrade that recoil even more. But now that you guys kind of understand a little bit more of what these stats and what these numbers mean and what they actually look like in the field, go out there, build some better tools, and win those fights. All right, and that's it. That's one of the biggest tips that I've gotten while growing in Tarkov uh, in regards to building tools that revolve around my play style, uh, helping me improve my survival rate, my KD, make more money, and uh, hopefully it helped you guys too. Uh, if it did, come let us know. Hang out with us over on twitch.tv slash idolinkston. Uh, and if you liked the video, hit the like button, the subscribe button, and uh, turn the bell on for notifications because we're going to have new videos for new players, veteran players, uh, commentary series, feedback, all kinds of really, really cool videos coming soon. And uh, it wouldn't be possible without you guys. So you guys telling your friends, coming back, leaving comments, hitting the like button, and just engaging with us. It's growing this thing. And uh, we'll see where it takes us, dude. But as always, man, love you guys. Y'all have a good one. Enjoy your raids. And I'll see you next time.